Welcome, Pierre. Pierre Margot, the American Academy of Forensic Science has honored you uh, by an additional prize, the Paul Kirk Award, for your contribution to forensic science, but in particular for the development you made years ago of a brand new forensic light called Unilight. This lamp is used for the detection of finger mark. But before we go into the lamp itself, who is Pierre Margot? Well, uh, I'm Pierre Margot and I've been professor at the University of Lausanne for a number of years. But before that, I went around the world, uh, Scotland, America, Australia, EPFL. Um, and this is part of the uh, development, academic development, that I went to Australia where I headed a small research team that developed this lamp. But how it all occurred that a Swiss student decided to go to Australia to do some work for Australian National University? I saw by chance an advert in a scientific journal called Nature that was looking for a forensic scientist with knowledge of chemistry and I applied and I got the job. So you arrived in Australia and start to develop the lamp, Unilight. What is it and how do we use well, it? Well, actually there was a whole team that had already started this work. And in fact, the, the initial idea about, uh, about this lamp came from Malcolm Hall, who was a scientific advisor to the federal police in Australia. And at the time, Canadians had observed that some finger mark were fluorescent. That means that when you put a strong light on them, you could see these finger mark in initiating a, a signal, a fluorescent signal. So the idea was to detect using this type of uh, fluorescence because it increased the sensitivity of detection. Unfortunately, lasers were very expensive. They would burn some support. So the idea was to develop a lamp where you would have a large spectrum of light from ultraviolet, all the visible light, to the infrared. And uh, at the start, uh, there was a physicist in the group called Milutin Stoilovic, who designed the optical part. On the other side, there was a group that was developing the chemical detection of finger marks. And these two together uh, led to a number of success stories. That means we solved the very well-known cases in, in Australia using these type of techniques. So then came the idea to develop a product. So it started as the Unilight, but now it's well known worldwide as the Polylight. And that lamp is now used in most police services. Well, it's used around the world. You even find it in some uh, uh, television show like The Experts. Uh, and probably all students of forensic science that uh, do fingerprint detection have used one of these lamps. In 1986, you come back from Australia to take the Chair of Forensic Science at the University of Lausanne and you take this lamp with you. Um, was, it, was it a factor in uh, your uh, nomination in Lausanne? Well, I don't know if it was a factor, but when, when I had my initial lecture uh, in front of the committee, I spoke about what we had developed in Australia, obviously. After nomination, it became a very useful product because we were able to solve a couple of very famous cases in Switzerland in 1986-87. And uh, obviously then the police forces decided, well, there is something in there that we could adapt and now it's in all police forces. So that was a boom in the police forces. They, they, then everybody wanted the lamp, everybody wanted the technique. So how did you promote it? Or Well, the thing is we made courses for police people 
and, uh, and we imported the first lamps that were uh, used by different police forces uh, at the time. But I, I suspect the, the courses were the, the main way of distributing this knowledge. And for the University of Lausanne, was it a key factor at uh, putting forensic science on the Swiss Lausanne map? Well, certainly it helped because uh, then we had the recognition by police forces on one side. Uh, we had some politicians that were uh, involved uh, behind the development of these technologies. And obviously we had support because we had more students coming in as well. So from a very small crowd of students, it boomed very quickly. And you never made a fortune out of this discovery? No, no. <laughs> I never made a fortune, but my name is associated to this development. Thank you very much, Pierre.